Now in the 2009 standard, they give us the option of actually showing our coordinate systems on our drawings or on our models. And now there was no prohibition against showing your coordinate systems on your drawings or models in the 94 standard. And in fact, we found that in some cases it was to our great advantage to do so. But they just, in the 2009 standard now, they simply have told us that um, this is fine. We can show this and, and let us give you some, some instructions for how to do this. And you notice that this part has a couple different datum reference frames. Here, over here, we have this ABC datum reference frame and uh, here we have ADE okay so two different datum reference frames here so if we wanted to show on our model the ABC datum reference frame okay datum feature A is the back surface there datum feature B is this left side and datum feature C is this bottom surface here and our coordinate system is down there now notice this is on the CAD model and you notice that the coordinate system just simply says X Y and Z it doesn't say which uh, datum reference frame that goes with. Is that the ADE or is that the ABC or is that some other datum reference frame? It doesn't say. The reason for that is in your CAD model per the Y14.41 standard which is the digitalization of Y14.5 if you will, you're, you're allowed to query things. I could, I could simply take my CAD model if I had access to it and, and click on that uh, uh, coordinate system representation and, and it would be able to tell me. I would be able to assign attributes to it to say, oh, that's this, this datum reference frame here. Or conversely, I could click on this feature control frame and highlight that datum reference frame and it would light up this uh, coordinate system over here. So I would know that that was the ABC coordinate system. And also I could have my ADE coordinate system here. Again, in the CAD model, I don't have to actually label the coordinate systems individually. They can just show up there. They can be different colors. I can click on them, query them. I can click on the feature control frames, query those, and it can light those things up so I can know the associativity between those various items. On a drawing, however, if you're making that per Y14.5, uh, you're able to and, and required to, when there's more than one datum reference frame, you're required by the 2009 standard to actually label the axes with in, uh, the datum references that were used to construct that particular uh, coordinate system axis inside brackets here. So you see I have an x-axis here, a y-axis here, and of course a z-axis over here that are all coming from the ABC coordinate system. And you see I've got uh, a feature control frame here that says ABC, and I've got um, the XYZ coordinate system labeled with the ABC in brackets. And in my ADE coordinate system, I show that XYZ uh, coordinate system on this as well, but uh, have those uh, datum references labeled inside brackets there. So we can immediately see when we look at the drawing, we look at the coordinate systems as they're labeled there, we immediately know that this y-axis came from the A primary, D secondary, E tertiary datum reference frame, whereas this y-axis came from the A primary, B secondary, C tertiary datum reference frame. So uh, it makes it very clear to the reader where these coordinate systems are coming from, what they're associated with, etc.